creating a small trail in Blender is easy and straightforward. So let's start by pressing Shift A, Mesh, and Icosphere. Next, I'm going to shift the Icosphere by pressing G in X to. So I'm going to add a volume MC. With the volume selected, the next thing is um, to head over to the modifier tab and add a mesh to volume modifier. Next, I'm going to click on the eyedropper and select the icosphere. So select the cube, head over to the particle systems tab and um, add a particle system. Give this a value of 4050. 150 and a lifetime of 70. Next, head over to the velocity. Give this a value of zero. Physics. This the Brownian force determines the value of the, the randomness of the smoke. So I'm going to give this a value of 1.5. You can go higher depending on whatsoever the, the smoke should be like in your scene. So I'm going to head over to the render tab. I'm going to change this to object, select the eyedropper, and click the and choose volume. Give this an object mutation, head over to field width and give the gravity a value of zero. So I can um, give this in the render tab, I'm going to give this a value of 3.1 and try to animate the cube. So I'm going to keyframe this at 50. I'm going to move over to 150. G next. Keyframe. So let's see how it goes. So to bridge the gap between the cube and the smoke, all we have to do is select the icosphere. I'm going to press seven on my numpad. I'm going to shift this towards the center. Now, with the cube selected, I'm going to head over to the particle system and click on big all dynamics. I'm going to play this. So if you'd like to um, tweak your smoke further, while the cube is selected, head over to the modifier tab and add the displace modifier. I'm going to click on new and switch this to clouds. You can animate the size or you can just choose whatsoever value you'd like. The next thing you might want to do is, is to um, change the color of the smoke, which can be done from the shade editor. With this volume selected, you can press new and change the color of the smoke from here. You can change the color of your smoke to whatsoever color it is you like, and then you can animate the smoke, the, the objects hiring the smoke. So it is very easy and straightforward. So thanks for watching. That's it. See you next time.